called Juliet from Uganda. I'm a former child soldier. I came to London to share with the government of UK my experience how girls and children are being affected by war in northern Uganda and I came also to request them to support children who went through conflicts to go back to education. Seeing dead body all the time, seeing young girls being forced into sexual relationship with old men, seeing people dying and they are telling women not to cry for their children, being beaten by rain, when it's raining, no house, you just sleep, you know. Life in the booth was really not good for me. I don't like it at all. It was in 2002, that's when the rebel came to our home. And I was beaten up with a gun. They forced me to walk far. And I couldn't run because I was surrounded by them. On that very day that they abducted me, they killed every man who was also abducted from our home. I mean, it was our neighbor. They killed him in front of me so that I, I don't escape and run away. Young girls were forced into sexual relationship with men who were even above our age. All the time, children are being killed by the rebels. One of my friends also, she was shot dead as we were running together during an attack. They said, now you choose, either you go with this, this man or we kill you. I got pregnant and, you know, at a very uh, early age with that man. But um, my, as young as I was, my baby died, you know, so I got a health problem that needed an operation. So I was brought to Nairobi for that operation and that is how I found my way out. There is a nurse who was in, working in that hospital. She helped me and she is the one who made me to escape. So when I came to Uganda, I was welcomed by my family. They were really so impressed to see me back. They were like going mad because they thought I, I was already deaf. Then when I came back home and I joined my family, the, my life totally again changed. War child also has helped a lot, not only me and but other girls. But they have helped me so so much. They're the one also sponsoring students. They also sponsored my visit to UK, so they helped me a lot. I met politicians. I met students. I also wrote a letter to Prime Minister to request them to um, support girls to go back to education. You know, to support children who went through conflicts because most of them dropped out of school. If I'm being educated, I'll succeed in the dreams that I have for future. I will only be happy if I hear the feedback that Prime Minister says he will be in position to bring other girls back to school. My message would be that they should continue asking the government for support they should not forget us, children who went through conflicts. Any child or anybody who experience bad things or terrible things can also experience great things in life if there is education.